Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. Now I absolutely love the fact someone in the comments referred to this as like a soap opera. Like they can't wait for the next episode. So we're going to do an intro that probably won't make sense to a lot of you. But if you're British, you're going to love this. <laughs> oh man. Alright, but anyway, so last time we sort of left our beavers in a bit of a mess. There were some very wet beavers bobbing about. Like this one, the 18 year old Anno had to. You had to what? What did you have to do, Anno? So yeah, at the end of the last episode, we built this mega dam. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get the hang of these floodgates. So we've got a bit of a flood going on up the top. Now, our bridge is now drowning, which is quite a horrible sight. But aside from that, everything was going well. Except for some smart ass bloody Patreons, like the real architect, who I had to build this lovely will for, and we built another one to shame another Patreon. Uh, so the start of this episode, this will be our highest priority, we need to shame those architects. Uh, but a quick overview, we've got like a big farm area in the middle for carrots, we got food production down here with potatoes. Uh, we've got a three tiered dam system, so we've got one down here that sort of keeps this area green, and these three pumping water. So that provides our beavers with drinking water, and that's stored in containers like these. We've then got this dam here which keeps everything green, allowing our carrots to grow, all these trees to grow because beavers need wood can't build dams out of air so we've also got some water pumps in here and some power wheels to power various machinery now over here we've got a load of science production that's sort of a, a seasonal job so it only happens in the dry season when the river dries up and these two beavers over here raven the depressed and mick higgy they've just been slowly gathering scrap missile from these ruins and then if we zoom out so this is our sort of main city we also added an extra one down this end so if we come down here this is our youtube member district and uh, there's a pretty simple it's just collecting some wood, getting some carrots. But uh, they've got a special mission that we'll be focusing on today involving this area. But first, I'm delighted to say that this video is sponsored. Now imagine you're a beaver in the Patreon district. So after a long day beavering away in the fields, they like to come home and relax in their house and watch some Netflix. However, if they want to watch Top Gear, look, it's not available. What are they going to do? Well, using Atlas VPN, they can come down here and they can select where they want to be in the world. So now when they search for Top Gear, it appears because Netflix thinks they're located in a different district. Right now, Atlas VPN are running a huge discount. It means you can get a three year subscription for just $1.39 a month. And it includes a 30 day money back guarantee. You can get access to this deal by clicking the link in my description below. Now, Atlas VPN isn't just for changing your Netflix location and getting access to different content. It blocks malicious links, ads and trackers and notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. It works at lightning fast speed, so you can still stream your favourite shows and game online at blazing speeds. It can help you get the best deals while shopping online. Atlas VPN also protects all your devices with a single subscription. And not only that, if you use the deal by clicking the link in my description, this is the best VPN deal on the market. $1.39 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. So thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Uh, let's hope we can use that to invest in some housing for our YouTube members down here so they can enjoy the internet too. <laughs> I am sorry, Borehand. We'll get you a house one day. Right, so... <laughs> oh, what has happened over here? I'm not sure. I've been trying to fiddle with this. I don't think I can lower the wasp level. Like, even if I lower that to the bottom. Like, it thinks about working, and then it just, like, nah. It's not big enough. So maybe I should have made that bigger, like more floodgates. Oh, no, no, it seems to be... I think it's going down a little bit. We're still very flooded back here, but uh, it, it might make it. They're beavers anyway. They, they, they're used to water. All right, so anyway, I feel like things are going pretty well. So today I wanted to focus on these guys, and I wanted to give this a try. Do you remember last time we sort of, we imagined a massive waterfall here? Well, I wanted to sort of find out how this works. It's called a water dump. Now, if we want to get up there, we've got to build like a load of ladders and stuff. So if we come down into here into paths and structures, we can build a platform. And I think we'll do one there. So we'll do steps to there. I think we'll do one there. So then if we if we use steps to go one up there, one up there, and then up these two bits, one, two, three. Nice. So then we should be able to get to that pretty easily. So if we then build a path between all of these. So now obviously these steps, they take logs and planks. And these guys aren't producing their own planks. But down here, this is our drop off point. So the patrons, you can see they're bringing over berries, planks, wood, grilled potatoes and water. So we do have planks coming over. So that should be fine. They can get up there easily. Once that's built, I just want to see, like, how the water dump works. Like, because I'm not really sure, like, is there, like, imaginary pipes from a pumping station? Or do they literally carry buckets of water up and then just dump it? 
In which case, that's probably not the most useful thing in the world, but we shall see. Uh, in the meantime, I did want to think about... <laughs> so much water up here. I did want to think about trying to expand our water. I was looking down here the other day. Like, this is a huge, huge valley. And I was sort of thinking it might be cool to sort of, like, dam up either side of it. I don't know how this water dump's going to work. But I'm sort of thinking if I were to dam across here... And then bring the water across from there over. I'm almost thinking like a viaduct sort of thing. Oh yeah, a viaduct could be cool. So if we were to dynamite a little pathway along there. And then we could viaduct along here. Should I viaduct? I don't even know if viaducts will work. It, it might do. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Is it out of... It is out of building range though. That is the downside. So if we want a viaduct, it's going to have to go along there. Or could these guys do it? No, it's out of range. Okay, so I'm thinking we build like a little channel with dynamite, which I haven't even unlocked yet, but uh, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, look, our power wheel's complete. So before we do any of that, we've got to find Bridges Suck. So Bridges Suck, you are currently an inventor. So if we pause that inventor hut, will you go in the power wheel? No, where's he going? Where's he going? He's going to a lumberjack flag. Which one? That one, right. We'll pause that lumberjack flag. Yes, and now he's going to the power wheel. <laughs> and we'll just fast forward as he runs over. All right, there he is. Shame. 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 Everyone join in at home. Shame. 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 <laughs> All right. I have too much fun sometimes. Um, I also, I know this is a bit silly, but I don't, I don't like that bridge. It's like, it's cantilevered. It's not, it's not good looking. It's not a bilf and we are here for bilfs. So I was thinking we unlock this suspension bridge two by one. It's going to cost us 200 science and a load of planks but i think it'll be worth it so yes we will unlock the two by one bridge please and then i'm actually gonna delete this i know <laughs> i know this could be a mistake because i'm not sure how they build things but yeah that's deleted and then we're gonna plonk that in delete that path at the end and then plonk that one there and then if we prioritize both of these i'm hoping they can build this end and then somehow build this one from the end so let's fast forward and watch them build it they are beavering away all right here are our team of builders look for breezy going insane sevens carrying boxes like no one lord finish good work guys oh god what's happened with these beavers <laughs> what are you two doing in there the wheels aren't moving i am not even going to ask what that's meant to mean yeah, but let's let's work through the night. We'll up the working hours. I just want to see if they can build this bridge from that side. Yes, they can. Can you see that? They're building the bridge. Okay, we're going to do that just so these guys can get home. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> so their punishment was so hard, they literally fell out and fell asleep. But uh, this is nearly finished now. They're just doing planks. And then these stranded guys, they can get home again. There we go. So I took a bit of a hit there. Obviously, our distribution post was completely closed, meaning none of our YouTube members could get any of the resources they need. Uh, but to be fair, look at this. They've properly been beavering away. Oh, and we actually have an unemployed beaver. Yeah, Jared Nolan. He's eight years old. He's homeless and unemployed. So we can at least fix one of those things. I think we'll make you a builder along with Boarhound and Matty Patati. Or maybe we should try and make you guys more self-sufficient. Yeah, actually, sod that, you're sacked. You can go pump some water. Because I think we're going to need water for this water pump. I really don't know how it works, but I imagine... They're going to have to manually carry water up there, which, as I said before, makes this pointless. But uh, anyway, let's let's start designing our viaduct. Now, I should, I don't know, should I build the dam first, actually? Am I even going to be able to build the dam? Is it too far away? All right, I can definitely build this end of the dam. Okay, so let's do that first. Let's, let's design the dam at this end. I think if we do that there, do triple floodgates like that, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to block these up with levees. So we'll probably do those three there and those three there, right? So that should dam this up. I'm also thinking I might do another dam there with floodgates, just so we can get the water level up there, but I'll leave that for now. Uh, we're going to want a dam down this. Oh, damn, that's going to be a big dam. <laughs> All right, so that's three high, and it drops one step there. So we just need to do four a four high dam. So that should be all right for now, but no one can build that. I think that's going to have to be a new district. It's going to be quite complicated, I think. But uh, let's get a new district in. So I think we'll build that sort of, I don't know, down there maybe? Yeah, maybe there. So we've got district there. We need a district gate. I'm probably going to rip up a load of trees. So let's do that first. We got to come into plant crops and close planting out. I'm going to do these ones just because that's got the most birch in it. So they're all dug up. 
get people to demolish all of those. Oh, we'll reduce the working hours down back to 16. 24 is a bit much and there's no, there's no issues going on. Oops. And we'll do a path over here. We have to go up with steps there. All right, so as these guys remove the trees, I'll just path behind them. Nice, three more trees. Good work, guys. And then for this path, we'll put our district gate in. I've then just done a path from the corner of this dam over to there, and I assume... Oh, actually, are these in range? That might be in range. Let's see if any... Let's high prioritize that. Is anyone going to come and build it? If so, we can get rid of the district. Oh, no, it's only in range because it's in the new district. Hang on, let's delete that a second. Right, I've merged the district. Yes, it's actually in range. Oh, cool. Okay, so they can actually build that from there. Okay, so that's good. That is good. Um, Unfortunately, I think... I think we're going to have to increase the height, although that would be a lot cheaper. Yeah, I'm going to unlock the triple platform. So that's 200 science. It'll be worthwhile though. And uh, what I want to do, I want to stick those on top. So this is going to look a bit weird, but it'll make sense in a second. So we'll basically do that. And basically that will allow my little beavers to build a path on top, meaning as they build each one, they can build the next one, build the next one. Because they can only build things like right in front of them, like Mondu Calera. They're up there beavering away and uh, that's building this. Look, do you see that block? It got built from up there using beaver telekinetics. It's very impressive. All right, so since our dams are sort of in place, we should probably look at creating the dynamite because that's what we need to actually move the water about. I and mean, also, I didn't really appreciate, look at the bridge. It looks so much better now. <laughs> I'm so pleased I did that. Look at it. It's like a proper bridge. Who's using it? The mayor. He's using it. And who's that? Big Riley. Nice. So yes, we need some dynamite. Uh, but before doing that, look, we've got 10 homeless beavers in this district. Right. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to build on top. We're going to have like two tier bunks going on. Oh, we do, we do actually have some cool barrack things to unlock. We've got large barracks and row houses. I'll tell you what, let's build a large barrack. 400 science that is. That's quite a lot. Look how many beavers we have. We got seven unemployed beavers. I've not been paying attention. Are you sure you want to unlock the large barrack? 400 science. Yes, please. So that will hold 16 people, which is insane. That's awesome. So we'll bung that there. And obviously no one can get to that. So we're going to need steps up. So we'll do step there, a platform, and then steps on top. And then we'll have to put a path in because we need our safety railings so no one falls off. Because that's quite a fall. That Look, it looks like this guy's already fallen off. Santa's enforcer. <laughs> You're meant to be good at being on roofs. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, let's turn this forester on up here. So Nolan does stuff. You're going to be a lumberjack now. This isn't just any old stuff. This is important. You're going to be getting your feet wet up here. Look. <laughs> Look at the water. Be careful. It, it's deeper than you think. Uh, I guess we can turn the shredder back on. So William Johnston has gone in there. And that turns our scrap metal into metal sheets. We've currently got 422 scrap metal. Yeah, but only 208 metal blocks. So you can get to work doing that. The lumberjacks are all good. Wraithful Nick, Big Riley, DeLucas. They're all in there. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. Right, I've just noticed the YouTube members, they finished their water dump. Uh, so let's just pause it quickly. Time is flying. We need, we, need to, we need to sort this out. Right, so let's get everyone employed first over on this side. So we're currently not making any gears, but I don't think we need to. I feel like the only job we need to do... Yeah, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn science on, I think. So 8 equals D. I like that your name sort of looks like a knob. It's a very strong name. But you're now a scientist, so is Vodarsky and Tatoff. Nice, so now we have no unemployed beavers again. So that's good, and we're producing fat science now. So that's even better. Uh, before we get to YouTube members, I am going to start building the dynamite stuff. An explosive factory costs 400 science, and then 30 planks, 30 gears, and 30 metal blocks. So I think we'll build one of those. And oh, that's quite a cool building, isn't it? I think we'll plonk that there. So that will create dynamite. We then need to unlock dynamite, which costs 600 science. Bloody hell. So I guess we may as well unlock that. And then we can start planting these wherever we want them. But they won't get filled up until this is built. So let's first just put this explosive factory on high priority. It's going to take a bit of building because there's quite a few ingredients there. Oh no, does it actually need power? Oh, it needs power. Hang on, hang on. Right, delete, delete. We're going to have to build it on this side. So explosive factory. Oh, it doesn't fit very nicely. That's annoying. I'll tell you what, we can plonk it there. And then because it's touching these buildings, which are touching the engine, it should have power. We'll just have to redo the path at the front like that. And I'm going to delete that one because that's annoying. There we go. Cool. Uh, so this takes 150 power. So what I might do, I might turn a lumber mill off because these use 50 HP each, which I'm still annoyed they haven't changed it to beaver power yet. Uh, so that engine creates 200. So if we pause you, I'm sorry, Jonathan tried. You you tried, to be fair. You did try, but 
you're, you're sacked. You're fired. <laughs> right, explosive factory, high priority, and that should be fully powered. And then we don't need to turn the extra engine on. So that's all good. That's sorted. So for the actual viaduct itself, we just need to be in building range. And I think, looking at this... Our range goes pretty far, so we should actually be able to go wherever we want down there. So I'm thinking it might be better if we sort of explode a route through there. I'm going to say get rid of all the trees along that line. I'm going to say demolish them. Then with our dynamite, we want one there and one there. Basically, we're going to do like a strip through there. So where those trees are, that will be exploded. And that takes a block out underneath. Then water will come out there. I'm sort of thinking rather than dynamiting, I'm only going to dynamite that strip, I think. I might use levees to like make our viaduct. I think I want to use... I'm not entirely sure. I think I want to use like the platforms. But I don't know what the metal platforms look like. They're really high. Shall we unlock one? It's 500 to unlock. That's like half my science. I want to see what they look like. Yeah, sod it. We're going to do it. We're going to do... We're going to unlock it. 500 science points. Oh, it's huge. It is huge. Oh, so that's annoying. That's actually too high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they look fantastic. That's literally just what we want in terms of looks. All right, I tell you what, this is going to be stupid, but I'm going to dynamite a strip out so we can put them under the ground a bit. So if we plan where we want these, All right? So <laughs> this is so like pointless but cool. <laughs> How much do these cost each actually? Two hundred metal blocks. Oh god, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford this. There's not a lot of metal left. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think that's too expensive. 200 metal blocks a piece. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Right, so the other method I was looking at is we can use a various mix of platforms. Right, the trouble with doing that is I don't think water's going to flow on there. So that probably needs a levee on top. Oh, and you can't build a levee on top of... Ooh, okay, that's, that's sort of changed everything. You can't build a levee on there. Now, I could build it out of levees. So we could sort of do that sort of thing to funnel the water. It's definitely not as impressive. Definitely not as impressive. Let's be honest, that's going to cost a fortune as it is. Let's just check before we do anything. Can we build levees on top of these platforms? No, we can't even build levees on there. So it wouldn't have worked anyway. Because I was going to use levees like either side. So the water could channel down the middle. But, oh, but that's a shame. That is a shame. I, I thought we had something good going on there. Okay, I'll tell you what then. We're just going to we're gonna do this the cheap way, kind of. And we're just going to use dynamite. So if we do a strip along there, do that sort of thing. We'll mark those trees to be destroyed. So you are in the way. And then we'll explode on the path. We'll put a platform for the path to go over. And then more dynamite afterwards going up to there. And that will fill that in. All right, nice. We seem to have gained an unemployed beaver. Uh, you're not a YouTube member. I tell you what, YouTube members... You're probably getting pretty old now. I might turn on the old breeding pods again. And yeah, I'll leave that unemployed guy for when this is built. Because once it's built, they can be the explosive factory person. So over to the YouTube member side. So we want to see how this water dump works. So who is that sat on their ass? Jared Nolan. Right, mate. I, I, I went to fire you. I accidentally fired the other guy. <laughs> I'm going to fire both of you. Sod it. You're both fired. Right, one of you. You're a water pumper. Matty Patati. You are a water dumper. Look, is that him? He's carrying a barrel of water. So he's stocking the water dump. Oh, oh, it's brought life to the area. Oh, okay. So that's filled with water. It's got six water. And then is that it? Is that all that happens? Because that's going to run out. Yeah, he's used up three water. So when that number gets to 100, that's all the water gone. But look, we're bringing life back. We are bringing life back. Oh, but then it dries out again. Unless we keep it running. So we might need like a hauling post over this side just to keep it sort of stocked up. So you can keep pumping and someone else can keep moving water. So shall I do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So hauling post, that can go in there. Now, there's no one to build at the moment, so I need to unpause that. So Jared Nolan, you build the hauling post, and then you're gonna become a hauler. But uh, that's quite interesting. So I think we could possibly get that flowing so we have greenery on this side and then once this is sort of set up we can top this up with our dam with our floodgates yes yeah, so this is just like a temporary solution it's not it's not really a solution i don't know why i'm doing it really <laughs> i'm just doing it because i really like looking at this area going from brown to green let's let's just watch it one more time ready oh it's so satisfying i don't know why look how far it spreads that's awesome but yeah, that's good. That is going to expand our area down here. We, we could plant some more trees. We are a bit short on trees. So maybe the YouTube members can sort of be foresters and farmers. All the Fs. All right. Meanwhile, our dam is still very much flooding. I think what happened was I 
let it fill up to the top and the sort of pressure behind it got way too much like that's open fully and like more water should be pouring out than that it's just weird oh god we got leaks over here we got leaks i don't think it's leaking actually i think it's just over spilling over the top but um yeah we'll have to fix that somehow all right so meanwhile our explosive factory seems to be built uh, task program is in charge there. I don't know why you just sat there, mate. Why aren't you making some dynamite? Have I have I messed something up? Oh, they need paper and explosives. We balls. <laughs> we haven't got any paper. All right, so we need a paper mill, which takes 80 HP. Oh, God. Okay. So, yes, paper mill unlocked. Oh, wow, look. It's like a roll of toilet paper. All right, so paper mill goes there, and I feel like I may as well, just while we're here, I may as well unlock the printing press, because that gives us knowledge, and knowledge is power. And that fits in there lovely. And it means everything is connected, but it means we're going to need more power. So we'll turn that on. So Ryan ML, you have gone in there to create power. Cool. So they're all getting built now. You can see, oh God, look at all those haulers. They're all carrying logs everywhere. Yes, yeah, so they're fueling the engines. That's what that was. They were making sure these were stocked with logs. Because uh, if they're not, we don't have power. Uh, meanwhile, up over here, they're demolishing our trees, which is good. So we can start pathing behind them. No, we don't want to start pathing. No, 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 no. Not yet, Matt. Later, later. We want to start dynamiting. Now, I don't think dynamite should be getting wet, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not built yet, technically, so it should be fine. Now, we're also going to need steps up to there so they can build that. So let's bung some steps there and just extend this path. Uh, yeah, I thought this might happen. So this is the downside with using floodgates is they can't get around them. Like usually they can just like stand on top of these levees, but because it's got this stupid roof thing on it, well, it's not that stupid. That's what raises and lowers the gates. But they can't get round. So we're actually going to have to build like temporary scaffolding platforms just so they can get to that side to build. I mean, or we could put a bridge in. A bridge could be cool. No, oh, bridges are quite expensive. 20 planks compared to just 12 if we do that. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Oh, I've just seen we've had our first birth in the YouTube members. So look at this little beaver down here. What's his little name? Bert Haas. Nice one, Bert. Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one. Michael Hart. Nice. Two little baby beavers. How are the other ones getting on? Green pods, low progress, low progress. Ooh, there will be another one soon as well. And also I've noticed down here, you guys aren't doing anything. James Lee, Valentin, I think I'm going to sack you for a bit. Oh, no. I was going to say, why aren't they doing anything? They've got loads of food. They've got nowhere to store it. So in which case, we're going to build you a small warehouse. And I will pause you for now just so we can get the warehouse built. So you're all builders for now. But then you can start harvesting your carrots. Uh, Tom Younger, again, I'm not going to just have you sitting there, mate. As comfy as you look, you can go be a hauler. So that hopefully we can just keep Matty Patati supplied with water up here. Because uh, look, this is proper filling up as a little lake down there. That's pretty cool. Although, why, why am I bothering to prioritize that? <laughs> I think we'd be better off having everyone as builders, to be honest. Because uh, we do need to get this, this end structure done. Like the dams and all sorts. Who's that? Is there a lumberjack over there? Yeah, hello and his is the lumberjack. I don't know why they're not doing anything. Oh, yes, I do. I do know why. It's because I told you to cut every other tree, didn't I? And it looks like you've done that. I don't know if that was the best plan, to be honest. It might be worth putting like a ladder up so you can go chop down some of those trees. Well, not a ladder, steps. You know what I mean, steps. Yeah, so tell you what, we will pause you for now. And then you have become a builder as well. Nice, cool. All good. All good in the hood. Oh, look down here. I've just noticed sleeping out in the rough. So our new baby, baby Julie Delaney. I'm sorry you've been born into completely homelessness. Now, at least you're not sleeping alone. We've got a whole YouTube member pack here. Is it a pack? Is it a pack of beavers? We do have like a weird name. It's, it's usually like quite linked, isn't it? Like, could it be a dam of beavers? Yeah, I'm going to call them a dam of beavers. Uh, but anyway, as another sun rises, look... Everyone was sleeping in our new large barrack. Look at all these people that slept in there. So many. Is, is it completely full? It's full already. And we still have two. <laughs> There's still two homeless beavers. Oh, wow. Okay, we might have to build another barrack. I'm sort of thinking I might pause some of these. I feel like we're giving birth to too many beavers. It's a bit overwhelming at the moment. I think we'll pause half of them for now. Uh, meanwhile, look up here. Look, we're making paper. We're making beaver paper. So Ruam Cross Myths is in here and they are turning logs into paper. That is, that's such a cool building. Like, <laughs> look, so it's got the little, like, the printing roll thing. So, like, squish it down, get rid of all the water. And then, look, you can see the sheets of paper up the top. They, like, hang up there. That's so cool. <laughs> and then... In the printing press, we got Jordan Tried and Mythos. They're creating books. That will give us knowledge. Uh, but the priority for me is the explosive factory. I'm actually going to prioritize that. We want to make sure it's always stocked up. 
Oh, but cool, good. We got three unemployed beavers as well, so I'm gonna have another scientist. Position time wasting a jalapeno. I'm sorry your name didn't fit in. We got we got to Halla at the end. Uh, you're now a scientist. Congrats. Uh, we should. <laughs> We've still got Bridges Suck and the real architect in there. Thankfully, this time, we had no disgusting Patreons join. Because <laughs> uh, these are quite expensive to build, so I'm quite pleased about that. Uh, two more jobs. I guess we may as well just increase haulers. So down it, you can, you guys can join Tom Oliver and Jonathan Kivers. So we've got Dorastafan and Slarty But Fast. And that's great. Slarty But Fast. That is exactly what we want from our haulers. We want them to be fast, but a little bit slarty. I love that this warehouse power wheel thing now looks like the strongest shape. It's shooting, um... Yeah, Ign ignore... <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> All right. So before we get too far, let's do a little stock up. Look, we're actually gaining some dynamite now. So the guys, they can start laying those down. Oh, and now our now our strip of trees have been done. We can also dynamite through there. So let's get them laid down. Nice. I'm I'm not sure like what's going to happen here in terms of like the waterfall. Like whether I need to do that a little bit wider at the bottom just to sort of catch the water. <gasps> our first dynamite's gone in. Oh, I want to press the button. It's a big red button. I want to press it. I want to press it. Uh, but I, I also want to do it in a chain reaction. So I won't press. I will not press. I will leave it for now. Oh, God. We got three new unemployed beavers because three new people have grown up, including Booty Blaster. <laughs> And we've also been told the dry season is approaching. So in 2.4 days, we're going to have a long dry season. So thankfully, the water will finally be lowered here. Now, I wonder if it's worth. Should I raise this? Is that going to cause any carnage to two and a half? Oh, God, it has. It's flooded a little bit more. Nothing too major. That's all good. Our unemployed beavers, I think we'll put them in the holding post. So Booty Blaster, Little Brown and Ace Rob 20 have now joined the other haulers. And now we've got 12 homeless beavers again. Oh god. Let's shall we build another some more housing for them? Let's build another large barrack up there. But yeah, I was I was taking stock as to how we're doing. So gears are pretty low. Maybe I should turn the gear workshop back on. So nuking into crookin. <laughs> What a name. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds incredible. Uh, they're now creating gears out of planks because uh, gears take ages to make. They're really slow and we had used up quite a lot. Uh, otherwise, food's looking good. 1200. Water's looking really good. 1500. Logs, again, not ideal. I feel like there's a lot of logs to be logged. <laughs> If you know what I mean. So maybe I should build some more lumberjack flags down here. So we've got four down here. We've got Go Get Forked, Wrathful Nick, Big Riley, and DeLucas. They're all logging. But there seems to be like more trees than logs at the moment. So maybe we could add a few more as we got so many beavers. Oh, and over here, look at this dam. Oh, this is a hell of a structure now. Great work, guys. And look, the line of dynamite is in as well. Oh, this is going well. This is going really well. Oh, look over here, look. We've somehow stopped the flooding. It looks how it's meant to look again. <laughs> yes. Oh, we had a whole episode of flooding from our dam, but now it looks good. Oh, sweet. Right. I think, guys, we're going to leave that there for today. We're just about in the dry season, 0.1 days. So uh, the start of next episode should be pretty tasty. But for now, peace, love, and bridges. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.